so I, I told you guys a little bit about this situation that has unfolded in the courtyard of my apartment building that I live in, but I'm I'm just going to go over it just for this additional detail. Previously, previously, previously on, on the family uh, on a goosebumps, a goosebuds life. I said goosebumps for the first time instead of saying goosebuds. I always call goosebumps goosebuds. Same. Anyway, um, yes, last time on The Family. Um, the, <laughs> yeah, so like basically, you know, uh, when everyone was out of work at the beginning of the pandemic, like my neighbors all started hanging out in the courtyard without masks. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I just never joined them because, you know, I don't know, I'm not going to hang out with people I don't know without a mask on, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, so like uh, the week of Thanksgiving, somebody posted a sign, you know, there's like, I don't know, 30 people living in my building something like that so not everybody hangs out in the courtyard you know and so somebody posted the sign says like hey because covid numbers are, are spiking which in in los angeles please wear they a are. mask you know yeah when you're in the common areas that's all the, that's all the sign said uh which by the way los angeles now the epicenter for <laughs> all covid cases in the world wait is that real that really happened yeah, yeah that happened i mean earlier Last oh, week, like last boy. week, Lakers oh, Nation, baby, Lakers Nation, <laughs> uh, Dodgers Nation as well, the Dodgers City of Champions, Nations, baby, Kings Nation, <laughs> COVID baby. Champions, baby. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, yeah, so um, scary, but <laughs> very, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, the very next day, there was like a sign, like a whole essay posted <laughs> a full page of text that that said all types of crazy stuff but mm-hmm. it, w- it was basically uh you know someone from this you know group of people who uh-huh. hang out responded to the sign that said please wear a mask yeah and it was like it says it may not look like we're practicing safe pr- covid protocol <laughs> but we are like this is I could go. I could read this word for word, but I'm not going to because it's just it's just too long of a screen. It's a really silly thing. I mean, you know all the reasons it's really silly. But even even if they are a pod, right, a family. Yeah, they call themselves a. Pod. They said we're a pod family. Yeah, a pod said. family. The, the pod family. Even if they are the pod family, even if they're doing everything correct, you still wear the fucking mask because there's people that don't know that, and you're setting a yeah. bad example. Even if you're doing everything right. Just fucking wear the mask. It's doth protest too much or whatever, right? Yes. Like the fact yes. that they even put up that letter means somewhere deep in their brains they know this is the wrong call. Right, right. Well, the, yeah, the, it was clearly, you know, just by the length and tone, um, clearly someone's uh, insecurities about not wearing a mask this whole time finally coming out to defend themselves to say, oh, we're we're practicing safe protocol. Right. You know, all these people from all these households hang out with it without masks, but we practice safe protocol. Like, that is the bare minimum is, like, you have to wear a mask, and mm-hmm. they're not doing that. Anyway, long story short, they, <laughs> the, they, they now wear masks because I believe someone from the management company actually had a conversation with them to be like, you can't not wear masks, people. Did the masks say the family on them? <laughs> I wish. I haven't. I don't look at them. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, but now there's like, uh, like every detail about this is so like passive aggressive and, and, you know, for lack of better words here, crazy. Uh-huh. Um, they posted a, a an additional sign now on the gate to the building. Mm-hmm. That says, protect our family, you know, (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) please wear a mask before you enter. And -hmm. then underneath that, it says, yes, this means you. (laughs) But like, you guys were the ones not wearing masks. (laughs) And there's a little mirror at the bottom of the paper. So when you look at it, you're seeing yourself. (laughs) It's fucking you without a mask or with one if you're responsible. But the crazy detail about this new sign is that it was posted with like, I don't know, like 27 pieces of red tape. Like, that's how it's applied to oh, the God. game. <laughs> and oh. it's like an oval sign. It's like clearly cut out of a piece of paper. It's just like got, it's Some serial killer. Went into it's got it, right? major, Some, like, major, yeah. major serial killer vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Manic energy all over this thing. Insane. Yeah. A, a huge aggress- aggression. Coming yeah. From Dom, this can piece I ask you so much just to like, not to graffiti it, but could you, at the very bottom of the paper, just write, who, me? Question mark. Yeah, and draw like a little guy being like, huh? <laughs> wearing a little mask, wearing a cute little mask and everything, being like, hey, me? <laughs> yeah, like they come up, it'll be your version of Kilroy. It'll be COVID Kilroy. Oh, COVID Kilroy, hey. Wait, who's Kilroy? Kilroy's the nose guy from World War II. 
I don't I don't think I know this. Wait, you know, like you mask? know. I'll show you Kilroy. Hold I'm on looking, one second. Yeah, I'll show you Kilroy. It's back before the internet. This is how like a drawing. Went oh, viral. is that what that is? Yeah, Kilroy mm-hmm. was like uh, like one of the first like famous graffitis. He's a little man. Yeah, he's a little. Uh, <laughs> he's a little Ziggy. He's, I always yeah, thought that was very a Ziggy. Ziggy. Yes, incredibly Ziggy. A little Ziggy with his nose sticking out over the wall. I I didn't know that was named Kilroy. Right, that's Kilroy, baby. He was here. But yeah, so um, COVID still going, still still busting out the hits. Um, I don't know why I referred to it that way, <laughs> but <laughs> it is uh, it is it has changed people. I will say. Oh yeah, uh, in, yeah. in my immediate area here. I I'm really like fascinated to know what happens to the family to any of these like COVID covens that form <laughs> the COVID covens. Wait, I forgot that we said that before we started recording the co- COVID, covens. COVID, <laughs> the COVID COVID covens. The COVID 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 COVID. The COVID the COVIDs. Like what happens after, like after everyone graduates yeah, from COVID this times. Is, this is like, it reminds me of like, there's a really, I swear this isn't a big D route. There's a really good documentary called, uh, like we live on the internet. I don't even know where you could find it anymore. Uh-huh. It streaming, but, uh, it was like year 2000, uh, you know, some rich guy was like, "Hey, I'm just buying a how a, a big building in New York. Uh, I'll pay for all the food and alcohol and bedding. You all just get to come live here, and I get to record everything." And so okay. it was like before the the big internet age hit. Yeah. So like everyone was like, "Yeah, sure, fine, fuck it." So like you know, everyone's fucking and falling in love, and at the end of the story is the cops like raid the place because they think it's a Y two K cult because there's uh-huh. guns in there, and like. All these people walk away from like it was just this once in a lifetime experience, you know. Like this is kind of, I, yeah. I went into a, a a matrix Xanadu haven for a while, uh-huh. and there's gonna be like either this like Dom your the family, and I see your family, the family, or any of these covens are gonna like be just like stuck together forever, or do they all just like after the pandemic go like all right, I'm going back to my house, just gonna forget about that time, <laughs> just to reply to. The people, the reaction of people being like once in a lifetime by opportunity. I am never walking into a space that doesn't let me have, you know, free reign over my sure. s- my time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sure. So coming to like somebody's list of standards in exchange for food and bedding is shit to me. I would never ever do that in a million years. You have to be insane to create <laughs> some shit like that. Um, like you know, just 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 in in this very specific example, I'm sure. Anyway, I'm not. Gonna I'm going to enter free prison, is what they're saying, is what they did. Yeah, it's free prison, yeah. you know. But like, that's kind of what COVID is. That's what the family is. Mm-hmm. Free it's prison. Like, come and join our family. Oh man. Hey, by the way, uh, I, I really super important, but just want to point out that. Oh yeah. Uh, when you Google Kilroy, uh-huh. the uh, apparently based off something called the Australian Foo. In Britain, he was known as Mr. Chad. That's fun. Wow. Oh, hey. Yeah. That's hey. our friend. <laughs> this is Mr. good that you Chad. learned this. <laughs> I learned that little bubble. <laughs> Get fuzzy or whatever his name is. Uh, Mr. Chad. Mr. Mr. Chad. Chad. <laughs> well, what, what, what's up with uh, what's up with Where's Waldo? Isn't he named like Wally? In, what? Uh, he has guys? another name. He has other names. What? Yeah. What the mm-hmm. fuck is yeah, that? Yeah. Why Waldo? Well, because uh, he moved into a commune and gave up his rights to his life in those countries. <laughs> <laughs> they all had to wear the red and white striped shirts. Yeah, that was the hats. costume he escaped in. <laughs> here, here, Waldo, you can go to any of these places where these other 800 people are going. And you all must wear the same thing, though. Well, no, not him. Well, there is well, that one, that there, one oh, spread sorry, where it's a bunch right, of Waldos. You're right, you're right. I was thinking of the Where's Waldo, the the most yeah. hardcore Where's Waldo puzzle that there is. The the massive uh, oh, Waldo where fest, it's all Waldo, Waldo so Con, yeah, fucking masochist. I mean, no matter what, the cult is led by the wizard, right? The oh, wizard without a like, doubt. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, didn't didn't he have a didn't he have a wife named uh, Wanda or some? I maybe or maybe it was like all right. Let's. Uh, I want to kind of come on. Looked right? exactly like him. <laughs> I'm going down the Waldo wiki, right? I'm just uh, looking at the one with the giant like war the war one where it's like all the Spartan warriors. That one's cool. Just that like, one is just good. I thought guts spilling out all over. The- yeah, you said the war one, and I was thinking uh, <laughs> trench warfare. You know, not necessarily <laughs> World War One. Like. We're all, it's all it's all Mr. Foos. It's all Mr. Foos everywhere in that one. <laughs> yeah, have you have you read uh, Where's Waldo Dunkirk? Have you seen that <laughs> <Yeah>. one? <laughs> it's three. It's three. Where Wald, Where's Waldo's happening on different timelines that all sync up? Wow. <laughs> Speaking of timelines, guys. 
Monster Blood 4, it's a timeline that we've traveled through <laughs> this entire series of books, this timeline. Uh-huh. Has. That's right. We've read uh, Monster Blood 1, 2, 3, three and now 4. And now 4. Monster Blood 4. Return, return to New York. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I'm yeah. just going to say this right now. Okay. If I don't like this book... After, because you know, I read it. I have my opinion. <laughs> uh-huh. I have things I want to talk about. Uh-huh. So you're but, yeah. like, you know, the conversation will leave me out of place. Uh, you know, wow. I will leave all of us out of place. <laughs> right. Uh, we, if we, I don't fucking love this book by the end of this episode. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure to put on us. Oh. Well, it's not. You, I mean, it's just. It's just. It's not. It's not pressure on you. It's pressure on the book. Okay? Sure. It's pressure on RL. Yeah, uh, and on the cover, it's a little different. I'm just going to start out with uh-huh. the cover. Uh-huh, uh, yeah. It's got these slug creatures on it coming out of the bathroom. I'm going to say this real quick. I think Jacobus, respect the hell out of the guy. I think he betrayed us in the, in, on, on this cover. He betrayed us. He betrayed us with this cover. It's a betrayal. I need to take another look at this cover. What do you mean he betrayed? I'll, I need I, you to gonna explain have, that. I can't. I don't think I can. Without jumping later into the book. I, okay, I'll just say it. They don't look anything like how they're described. I don't think they look anything sure. like how they're described in the book. But don't we know that Jacobus draws them first now at this point, right? I think. Uh, Jake- well, we're not. Sh- it's it's not. We're not 100%. You know? Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. I think that this. I think Jacobus was playing some Dragon Warrior. Uh, was really into that one <laughs> slug creature. And, He's and like, he, I love slimes. I love the slime kisser. I'm going to just draw that all over this cover. And can we compliment the colors of this cover, it's, though? This is like sure. the only color that uses this. W- one of the only covers that yeah. uses this color. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. It's a beautiful pink, color. Pink and purple. Yeah. Love it. It's a beautiful cover. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying I don't think the description in the book matches up with this. That's all. This is a Democrat blue cover, right? This is a... <laughs> this is a donkey blue. Joe, a, a, do, a Joe Biden blue. Yeah. This is definitely... This is a lib. This is a liberal cover. <laughs> He, he did give them yellow eyes, yellow bloodshot eyes. They're, they're, yeah. They're supposed to be cute, and the things on the cover are not cute. Okay. They're not cute. I, I didn't think they were cute. I, I still kept picturing, like, maybe Flubber from the movie Flubber. I thought they Robin were Williams. cute little guys in my mind. Like, do you know yeah. what they looked like? They looked like uh, the uh, Pillsbury Doughboy to me. Kind of sure. cute. Okay. In okay. my mind, that's what they looked sure. like. Sure. Did you? Do they have a full face to you, or were they like the flubber, where it's just like a, a shape? It was okay. shaping into a face, but there were no defining features. It was a it was a smooth like a nineteen ninety eight CG creature, like a flubber. Okay. Yeah, flubber. Hey, it was can, flubber. Yeah. Sure. Can we talk about this one slug I'd never noticed on the cover that the, is like the one that's sucking the, off the shower? Well, the one that's sucking off the shower is at least <laughs> true, at least true to the book, right? That is the thing that happens. Yeah. He sucks off the shower in the book. (laughs) This one in the middle, this is a vain monster blood. There's one just staring at its own reflection in the mirror like, I was just born. What do I, who am I? Well, it's kind of, I think this is a creepy angle because if you look at it, it is from the back looking in at at itself, but its reflection is looking deep into our eyes. Yeah, it's going to come get us. It's taking a look at us. Yeah. I don't like that. That's scary. Well, it's a scary cover. It's a scary good cover. It's just scary. And not cute, and I want it cute. It's also let's just get this out there. It's not monster blood, like no. It, well, we we can get into that. We can get into that in just a moment. I just want to say the the big detail about this cover is I don't think they have lips, right? No, they don't have no. lips. They have teeth. They do have teeth. So they, they have teeth. Yeah. Okay. And that might match. That might match the byline here. This blood is bad to the bone. Oh, but, okay. Like, these. I'm sorry, but. The slug monsters with monster lips that are sucking off shower heads. This, no, that doesn't yeah. that doesn't transcribe as bad to the bone. These are these are sexy gremlin lips. Yes, and this book is very gremlins inspired, without a doubt. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I didn't even mean to connect it to that. Yeah, I feel like gremlins was like I don't know, sexy. Uh, I was going to say <laughs> annoying. <laughs> <laughs> if if Christopher Lee in Gremlins two. Uh-huh. Just kept dropping more of the gremlins into buckets of water nearby and going, oh no! <laughs> right, that just, would be it's just that scene. Like that this. scene for 80% of the movie, yes. <laughs> <sighs> Goodness. 
There's so much of that. I can already feel it. Dub, dub. We were talking, we've had a, we've read a bunch of books without you, and uh, we hit some really good ones in the past, like, <laughs> string of books that we read, and then you came back, and we went right into one of the worst. This well, is one of the worst ones. Well, look, Evan is a horrible main character. <laughs> he is so annoying. All of the characters are and bad. And he's back. Yeah. Uh, Andy stinks. Uh, Kermit is stinks. annoying. Oh, Kermit, Kermit needs to get fucking killed. Like, I don't care. He's 10. He's getting murked. Yeah, he None sucks. of the characters are interesting or like they're just there to fumble around and drop things <laughs> like <laughs> it's idiocy the book it's idi- it's just straight idiocy throughout. it's horrible i don't remember them being like i guess part of monster blood the formula of the other books was always we lose track of the monster blood you know the dog gets right it, right the hamster yeah. gets it but this really did feel like like uh um, maybe their exploits with monster blood has like Given them some severe damages to their brain. That they maybe. like. Maybe. It was just like forgetting like they would say things in this book. Like like the electric fence. Okay. Electric fences do not oh, work. But the way that's not how that works either. That's book. not how electric fence I, we need to talk about the electric fence. He creates a Tesla device, Kermit does. <laughs> well <laughs> Well, it's 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 kind it's kind of okay because like Kermit was creating things last book and right. in this book he's creating even more concoctions. Mm-hmm. But I don't. Yeah. It's, it's sometimes you're just like if like if a kid has that much power, like why is he such an idiot? Right. <laughs> like, That's the thing. It's just not true to his character at all. Kermit made a war crime. Yeah. The one the thing he invented. <laughs> Like, like as someone who had a had an electric fence, I now think they're really bad. It's terrible. They're also they're terrible. They're terrible like, things. The, the, in case you don't know what electric fences are, because they can't imagine they're a thing anymore. In the nineties, two thousands, it was a big fad to have quote invisible fence. Is fe- invisible fence is what it was called? Yeah, right. Yeah, electric it was. fences. Like, oh my cause, god! Because you had to, you didn't market it as you were damaging your dog. Yeah, it right? wasn't marketed as capture people and keep them trapped. <laughs> right. Here. It was for like dogs that you would have, you would bury. I had to do this to my fucking yard. You bury a big giant wire underground. Like you mark out like the outline of your thing. And then your dog wears a collar with a little shocker on it. Yep. And whenever they go over the wire, it triggers and gives them a little zap. And it's not like, it's not like there's a constant electrical force field that (laughs) fries everyone that walks past it. And also, they don't work. They're kind of mean to dogs. Dogs eventually learn just to like, oh, if I just step past the fence, I won't hurt anymore. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah, psychologically, uh, uh, <laughs> breaking your dog not to move past this line. It's, it's dog terrorism. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dog but, war crimes. Dog war in, crimes. But in this version of the book, I hadn't thought, Dom, that like maybe maybe Kermit did invent it. That's also interesting. He did. That he no, came he did. He it. did invent it. That's oh, the oh thing. he did. I'm sorry. Yes, that's, and <laughs> Dom's 100 percent right. He created this genius thing that is a, 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 a and a feat of like physical engineering that's ins- insane. But the kid can also can also like not like come up with a cogent uh, a cogent like scientific experiment like putting tarantulas on his friend's head and watching them. Oh, God. Let's, yeah, that fuck, fuck Kermit from the very beginning. Kermit sucks. He, he, he makes so many choices that are so contradictory of, like, anyone who can do any of the things that he does. Mm-hmm. He's, like, not careful or uh, observant. He's just a complete ass who's like ooh okay we just got we we just got out of trouble now to prank my now to prank, now to myself. prank my cousin just for a little bit of like sicko pleasure to, to your point dom like he does he comes up with a concoction in this which we'll talk about later and then when it gets destroyed he goes oh no i'll never remember it again so that means he invented something yeah, he did and have the formula. never it took no notes he took lucked no into, notes lucked into it and then forgot about everything as soon I, as it, i had a i had like a week of my childhood where i thought i was going to be a scientist and mm-hmm. yes i mixed red and purple kool-aid that's fun and i wasn't i wasn't keeping track of like volume amounts or ingredients if only if only you'd kept the notes where would you be today Chad? you'd be a mixologist chad the the, the job didn't exist at the time Matt. you would I have, would have been, invented no. white claws probably <laughs> yeah. who knows maybe maybe but Kerm, like kermit does not respect the scientific process i know he's a, i know he's a boy i don't care if all we know about kermit is that he's a scientist and he invents things he needs to like I don't know, have some follow through on that, right? He needs to have some damn respect for science. He needs to have some damn respect <laughs> for the for the academic field. Uh what is he what is he making this? This is kinda like in, in chronological order. Oh my he, god. He makes he has... a Andy is babysitting Kermit. 
mm-hmm. but also like the ant is just there. The ant just like can't be bothered. We should. We, well, I guess we should say. Uh, it, you know, beginning of this book, Evan has gone to live with his cousin Kermit and uh, uh, his mom, and mm-hmm. uh, he's there to also like look after Kermit when his his mom can't be there. His mom's too yeah. busy starting her own hot sauce business, I guess. And oh, that's kind of what she's up to. And yeah, it's it's very weird because he shows up and she's like completely deluded herself because she's like it's so nice that you'll spend time together as cousins it's great that you can do that but she's paying him to do that and she knows she's paying him and so his mom is something happened to his mom i don't know what it is she's had a mental break uh she's probably depressed um and she needs she needs to find somebody to get her some help that isn't sure that isn't evan it seemed like she's just upstairs the whole time doing self care while her nephew, which is good, her son. but she, but she, I don't think she's, she's, I don't think she uh, has fully thought it out. That's all I'm saying. No, no, you're right. No, she's got to come to terms. So yeah, Evan has to start this real quick. I do want to say this book picks up with Evan just uh, going to live with Kermit and Kermit's mom for a little bit while his parents are away. They never mention the fact that at the end of oh, three, yeah. which I looked up, at the end of three, uh, Evan is turned into a tiny little mouse boy. And it's never explained how he became not a tiny little mouse boy. Wow. I, I was trying to remember, like, yeah, I feel like there should be a bigger deal that there was a giant boy in town at the end of three. He, he got reversed into a little... Kermit saved him with a, with a drink that made him become little. I, lo- I looked up the synopsis to, just to catch up. Sure. And his parents see him shrinking. Um... And I think his dog Trigger puts it, has him in his mouth, and he's tr- he's being shrunk, and that's where we leave off. Well, that dog's not around anymore. Trigger is not in this book. Uh, all right, so. you're right. Trigger is never mentioned, so maybe something was did Trigger happen. Was Trigger Conan's dog, or was that? Was I don't the, know. Was Trigger, oh God, I don't remember. Was Trigger Evan's dog? Well, we know that you know. There's, of course, there there's always a dog in these monster blood stories for him to show up and like hit people in the back of the legs, and then so they drop a can <laughs> so of they monster drop blood. monster blood. Yes, and uh, but the dog in this one is named Dogface. Yeah, it's dog uh, face. Kermit's dog, which yes. uh, I don't believe was in the previous book. I no. think I, I think I remember Dogface. I don't, I'm, I couldn't say for sure, but I feel like I remember Dogface existing. The name is so dumb. The name is so dumb that I that I, I feel can't like remember. It. I'm thinking of Game of Thrones. Just one of the dire wolves' names. Oh my god, Shaggy dog. dog. Yeah, Shaggy, Shaggy dog. Yeah. Dog and Dogface are the <laughs> same level of naming. Yeah. And Shaggy dog was named by a three year old at the time or <laughs> yeah. whatever. Like. Uh. Yeah. Dogface goes through some shit in this book. I felt I I felt really bad for Dogface. There is a part. There is a part yeah. where I where I was very sad for Dogface. Dog terrorism. Yeah, there's there they perform much dog terrorism on dog. Well, there's this. yeah. I'm just gonna just warn anyone reading this who's gonna read this book after listening to this episode. Which is what are you doing? It's not how this show fucking works. It's your life. There's a there's a <laughs> that you can do whatever you want. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Like two thirds of the way through, there's just a real dramatic stake where dog face is swarmed in blue monster, monster blood creatures and looks like he is dead. Yeah. Like that is that is traumatizing. Well, why don't we get yeah. to talking about what the monster blood is this time sure. around? Because sure. it's completely different, and mm-hmm. uh-huh. uh, it's quite funny how it all wraps up. So Kermit uh, and uh, Evan, they're hanging out. Mm-hmm. You, you know, Kermit is being just uh, really annoying to Evan, and Evan is like equally being as like pitiful and annoying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the thing that's so frustrating about Evan is just that like he never really stands up for himself because no. he's also not worth standing up for. <laughs> no, because yeah. like he ha- he has like really he he has like a lot of anger towards other people and like getting revenge, and he's like really focused on like getting revenge without without like thinking about the cost of like what what doing something to somebody else would do like how how that is he fantasizes after kermit pranks him a couple times in the beginning of this of essentially waterboarding kermit he thinks about water <laughs> <laughs> that is his first well he shows up right and he immediately is like put this blindfold on uh evan and let me put tarantulas on you and then yeah evan immediately is like i want to just like i want to get him outside and get him wet i want water hitting his face constantly so that he cannot breathe that's what he thinks yeah. yeah, there, there's a. I, I actually took a screenshot of uh, some selective oh, language great. that great is place. used uh, at a point. Um, I, 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 I'm gonna get to that in just a moment. Though. Okay. Um, so essentially, what we have, you know, Evan and Kermit, they're fucking hanging out, and uh, you know, uh, Andy shows up out of nowhere, mm-hmm. and uh, Andy's like, "Check it out." 
I got this blue can. And then Evan's like, oh, no, it's monster blood. Also, I can't stand when kids in these books say, oh, no, because <laughs> it's like it never seems natural the way it's written. No is always like drawn out. And yeah. it happens a lot in this book. It's always because... groaned. It's always like moaned or groaned. Yeah. Right? Yes. So, yeah. You know, what other, you know, another phrasing I noticed in this one is that someone gaped at something. And I and I I'm sorry, but I can't hear the word gape. <laughs> I can't hear the word gaped and not think of it the wrong way. I mean, yeah. the internet has changed. Andy uh, Andy gaped his butt for the monster bloods to crawl in, and it was part of the story. I can yeah. only imagine gaping. Ha- yeah, I can only imagine gaping happening, and it freaks me out. Uh, so uh, Andy uh, comes over with a can of faux monster blood like yeah. it's not it's not real monster blood it's Ugh. just like kind of a she's like kind of just playing a trick mm-hmm. and then and then evan comes or uh conan the uh the conan bully barber. next door mm-hmm. yeah. yeah conan barber comes over and he's real rude and uh andy's got another can and evan or conan takes it and he's like i'm gonna check what's out what what's in this and it's snakes in a can uh-huh. you know they like the classic out of the can and embarrass him and he gets all mad yep um Anyway, uh, I just and then and then Andy Andy uh, provides an actual can of monster blood, and she says that she was waiting for her dad to get off of work at the lab that he works at. <laughs> she was in the parking lot, and this can was in the trash. In the yes. trash. This is a very important detail. I'm glad you called this. It's out, an incredibly though. important for what we find out at the end of this book, too, well, which is absolutely ridiculous. But but also like I don't know how you guys are the response to this. This moment particularly stuck with me because. I, I didn't go back to the original books, but I sure feel like when they described the original monster blood cans, mm-hmm. it like the label was described, right? Like it yeah. was like, oh, this is this was made in a witch factory somewhere or whatever. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. it's like a, like an old magician's uh, problem. Like, right. oops, yeah, I've I've conjured this, and right. and they don't describe any part of this other than just like. Andy's saying, I found a can of monster blood. They never like read what's on it. It doesn't just say it never actually seems to say that it the can says monster blood. Right. No. They just assume it, they just assume it's monster blood. And which made me think, like, do these kids just think every fucking can is any, monster any blood? Any can that doesn't have explicit la- labeling on it. Yeah, is like monster they, blood. they pick up a can of cream corn and they pour it out, like, oh, it's yellow monster blood. Like <laughs> right. I, I genuinely it was really bothering me that they just go, well, it's monster blood. Have you seen the movie Demons, the no, Italian? No. Uh, okay, so it's great. The first movie is Demons. You know, a bunch of people go to go see a movie, and the and the movie is like about kids in like a, a cemetery, and like mm-hmm. ten minutes in the movie, the kids are like being murdered by demons. Cool, and it's awesome. But um, but uh, the people are watching the movie, and then the demons come out of the movie and like start possessing people in the cool. audience. Cool. And uh, it's a really good movie. You can actually watch it on YouTube for free. Um, and, but there's a sequel called Demons Two. Um, and uh, you know, at the end of the first one, you'd be like, "How did they make a Demons Two? But they made a Demons Two, and some of the characters, like some of the actors, are in it. And now the sequel is uh. You know, instead of it being a movie theater, they're now showing the demon movie on TV. Huh. And so all the demons come out of the TV and attack people. And so th- I just wrote that down that like the repetition of like, you know, stupid events that lead you to being in hell. <laughs> right, like, right. Like, you, you, why, why did you guys watch the movie on TV? Don't you remember last time when the movie was on? <laughs> Dude, that's. Yeah these characters to a fucking T. And like, that's what's the thing is we were talking about how annoying like Kermit is. At least Kermit is supposed to be annoying, right? Like he's supposed to be, we're supposed to hate him, right? So in that way, he's I guess, well. yeah. He's supposed to be the annoying little cousin, little cousin. That's fine. But Evan sucks, Andy sucks, and Conan sucks because they're just dumb and they keep repeating the same dumb mistakes like you said, Dom, where they keep opening the can even though multiple times throughout the book they talk about how they know it's a terrible idea but they're gonna play around with fire basically these kids found a loaded gun and keep playing with it and they deserve to have gotten shot because they yeah yeah, it's rooting for their demise (laughs) the whole time more than i think i've ever in a goosebumps book yeah like just like fine let them be eaten go for it because they're making it worse they couldn't they, they like can't get a hand on the situation and they only make it worse and they also created the situation right you yeah. know like it's like watching somebody like bend over and pick up like a rock 20 yeah. times in a row and they just can't do it <laughs> yeah it's it's ridiculous uh 
yeah so like they they're hanging out at the house they 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 prank conan and stuff like that conan is like i'm going to destroy you you, you got children. my new sneakers wet that yeah. is a big deal i'm going and and what but the whole time it's like he keeps showing up and purposely putting himself in situations where his shit is going to get fucked up uh but so kermit and uh, evan at night decide before andy shows up with the the real can of monster blood decide that they're going to uh, permanently disfigure Conan's hands with a with a hair growth serum <laughs> yeah. uh, to give him werewolf hands, as him... it was mentioned, which is what I would call it. I would yeah. call that werewolf hands. You know, also they're like that'll totally show him. I was like, I think that kid's gonna be even cooler in school. Like, yeah, well, yeah right. He's gonna be cool for a couple years until people get tired of werewolf hands, and then he's just gonna be the werewolf hands boy for like two or three years. He'll be cool. You're right. I think you're. Yeah, he'll he'll be he'll do really good at basketball. Team right. Wolf style for a little while. Yeah, the luster will wear off at some point. But it'll be like the yeah. kid who grew a mustache first. All the girls will think that's really cool. Right, and then everyone else will grow werewolf hands and no one will care anymore. Uh-huh. Once my, ha- once my hand hair grows in, you know, <laughs> y'all, y'all, it's over for you. <laughs> did, did it bother you guys, by the way, that like his first test of the hair growth formula is that he grew hair on an egg? Yeah, that was weird. I don't know if that's even possible. Like, I don't yeah, think that's... No. A- the same it's not the thing same at surface all. it's not skin so why would it even work the same on the skin than it does on the on the egg surface kermit yeah. is a sick freak he's a, <laughs> he's got many fetishes and he exercises them uh throughout his day um in many many small ways his unnatural urges are are forced upon the natural world all day long the first upon us, the reader. It's awful. Yeah. It's, it's sick. He's fucking sick. And so they're going to do this to him and that's when they show up Andy shows up with the can. They have a series of idiotic reactions because Kermit knows that that monster blood is a, is bad news too. Uh, but Kermit comes over when he sees the can and goes, "Hey, what's this? Let me open it up." Whoops! And then <laughs> knocks the <laughs> knocks the cap off. And then in a fucking like uh, life life is beautiful uh, sequence of the of a plastic bag <laughs> flying in the wind. <laughs> The the, the, can, the can it's not life is beautiful that's the Italian oh my movie. god I, oh, I, I get this mean. I get those two mixed up I get those two beauty I get those two mixed up all the time for yeah. some dumbass reason yeah. yeah American Beauty American Beauty but they're both beautiful yeah. movies <laughs> no they're not no they're not one is beautiful and one has a horrible man in it American Beauty uh, <laughs> he makes Russell great Crow. Christmas videos though I gotta he really, say he really does. <laughs> Are we gonna get a new? What if he did a new one this year? I was, I'm waiting for it. He's totally. He's on the. He's coming back. Please don't. He does it every Please year. don't. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it is funny because it's crazy, but he's already done two. Right? It's ha- I, mean, I think you're right. I think it's gonna happen. Holy shit! Well, that's another terror. That's another Kermit-esque terror that's gonna be. <laughs> born upon us <laughs> where he's like making cookies and like threatening cookies or i don't know and We're then he goes like COVID's, anymore. he's like COVID's not real yeah <laughs> he's, got, he's got to sink he's got to sink deeper so the, the, can, the, <laughs> the can the can top flies off they, that is a series of crazy events where they get out a ladder and climb onto the roof and oh, almost fall God. off it's the lid of a can it shouldn't be caught on the wind i it's, don't think anyway it's insane and the whole time there's like this ridiculous if you imagine i don't know if you guys imagine this but i imagined it like a movie and evan is holding the can of the blue monster blood he can tell it's blue because he's looked inside of it and the whole time he's watching it and it's like he's in it's like Dunkirk. It's like he's in slow motion, like watching the can <laughs> almost spill. But the kids are run, the other two kids are running around trying uh-huh. to catch the lid of this thing in in a timeline that does not match up with a can slowly spilling a liquid out of it. No. No, you're right. Yeah. Uh, it it's also like I think you already said it, Paul or Don, which one you right like there's not even a a good reason to open the can this now. time. Like, it's not, I don't even think they bring up the, like, let's prank, maybe halfway after they've opened the can, like, oh, we'll prank Conan with it. Yeah. But they didn't even mean to, I think, originally, it was more just like, like you said, a child shows up and goes, hey, I know we we're going to play with action figures today, but I found this gun in the street. Let's right. just, oh, whoa, it went and, off. And, 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 like, last year, like, one of your friends died from, like, holding a loaded yes. gun. All the kids that are going to play with this new gun have been shot accidentally with a gun before. Multiple times, yeah. <laughs> On three separate occasions, each three kid separate has been occasions. shot. That's America in 2020, guys. That's our world that we live in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, so the goo gets out, 
and they have a, a essentially a gremlins meets triple situation where uh, the the goo drops out. It's a cute little adorable thing. It's, it's a, not monster blood like we know. Right. No. It's an, it's it is. A, it is sentient and it multiplies and it's blue. Yeah. And so it starts it, dancing to fun jazz music with Robin Williams. And uh-huh. It's really charming. Yep. And, yes. And at first we think it's a fun thing that we're all going to enjoy, and then it turns into a horror. And what it does is it drinks water and then pops. And becomes two. And then those things decide that they want to drink water and they pop and they become and, four. And then they tell two friends. And, and then, then they, they tell two friends. friends. And then the whole thing just explodes exponentially. And the whole backyard <laughs> is filled with goo monsters. And the kids go through a bunch of idiotic ways trying to stop it. They uh, see the thing drinking water and causing it to multiply. And their bright idea is to spray it with water. I can't. Uh, I, that was the first one. That was the like Kermit. Kermit's big thing is I'll spray it them into the wall. He's with the hose. a scientist, and he yeah. can't even pay <laughs> attention really. to how the world works. <laughs> Again, well, I, 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 did we talk about this? Yeah, we talked. We talked about this on the bonus episode. We talked about uh, Brundle Fly. Brundle Fly. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. How, uh-huh. how like he's like. It works for that movie because that movie is like, uh, you know, campy in a way where it's like, what if like, you know, just a regular guy was a scientist, right? <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. and uh, that's kind of what Kermit is. He's like uh, just a regular old Joe. You know, he's just a uh, idiot savant, <laughs> unfortunately. Right, right. But um, but yeah, you know, um, you know, they they blast uh, the 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 slug things with uh, water. They're calling it monster blood. The can never said monster blood. Said I don't monster know blood. where they got monster blood from. These could be called water babies. It'd be a better name. Right. right? Anything. Like, yeah, name it something incre- like, like the first. Yeah. Do a first draft name and it's good. Sl- <laughs> Sluglins. Sluglins. Sluglins would be great. <laughs> Like, we didn't need Evan. Like, nobody was like, what's <laughs> happening to Evan? It'd actually be easier to buy this story if it wasn't monster blood people, right? Right, like, yes. Just kids kind of like, wow, we found this can. Let's open it. Sure, I'm bored. I'm a scientist. Whatever. Just new kids. They've never. It's a different town. I agree. And the whole time, I was like, these things are cute. The way he described them, I was like, these things are cute as hell. These are marketable as hell. If he had given it, an, I, he was trying to, he was trying to, I think, it's the last shot. It's his last book in the main series. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to make my marketable toy that I can sell to kids. Uh, uh-huh. and I he, was and wondering this, dude. How much of this feels like I I need to cash in? It like, felt like that, didn't it? Yeah, a little bit. It felt like the merchandising of it was... Yeah, it really did. It really did feel like, okay, at this point, this is the books come out. This is book 62 or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, Goosebumps are sweeping the country, and his marketable mascots are... Curly, a hamster, slappy. And slappy. Yeah. And that's yeah. pretty uh, and much the mummy, it. And the mummy. And, well, I guess they used a bunch of different images. But yeah, those are the real icons are yeah. Curly, yeah. Slappy, yeah. and uh, the, the hamster from Monster Blood, too. He had a Monster Blood icon. He didn't have to do. So yeah, you're right, Chad, 100%. If this had been a book by any other name, would have jumped up a, another notch. And if it had different characters who hadn't experienced the Monster Blood horrors a bunch of times already. I, I, I can't stress enough for people who have not read this book and listening with us that it is just a series of bad ideas to corral the slugs as they get more and more. They just keep splitting. Right. But it's not it's not just slugs. Like they also like dump mice out on the backyard oh, before the monster blood comes yeah. around. And then there's this whole like there's this whole an entire chapter that's like mice have dropped out. Oh no, the mice are going everywhere. Oh no, a dog is showing up. We're trying to get the mice. You know, it's yeah. Like, there's yeah. a lot of like weird, like red herring moments that are like you think are gonna like come back to play a part in the book, right? And some of them do. It's weird. He kind of like daisy chains all these weird events together to get to a point that he could have gotten to like three or four chapters earlier. You know, yeah. well, he, well, he sets up the mice for a second dream. You know, right. he has, yeah. you know, Evan has two dreams in this book. Right. And, uh, you know, characters sometimes have three to four dreams in Goosebumps. <laughs> in movies, <laughs> true. You, you are allowed one, one dream. dream. Unless one it's dream. an inception, you're allowed one dream. Right, right. Sure, sure. That's a different, that's a different, that's all different. Beast. That's breaking the rules, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, you get one sleep, you get one sleep fake out, <laughs> one, 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 one dream mm-hmm. fake out, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. Um, one Freddy uh, fake out. One Fred, one Fred fake out, and he, you know, they get a, they, they do two in here. Neither of them really serve any purpose. No. Um, but yeah, uh, he had a dream about the mice from the mice chapter eating the monster blood and growing, which is like not what 
they do in this book. Yeah, another. No. It's unrelated. It's like it's from another book. Like, oh, if the monster blood had been monster blood, this would happen. Right. I just want to. I just want to say, like, writing this way is like not good for <laughs> anyone. Like, obviously, it's not good for us to read, but like, it's also not good for children to like read this story and then go, oh, this is like how a story is told. Right. <laughs> because right. it is. It is so repetitive and annoying. I mean, I feel like we say this about a, a lot of the books. Right. Uh, but it's like so repetitive and annoying that like it asks you to stop reading. Yes. That, that, you, that you're Like you said, a lot of Goosebumps books are like this where you're like, why are we doing this? And then and then there's ones where he hits and you're like, oh, mm-hmm. OK, I get it. Like he, he can do this. But uh-huh. there's but this feels like just like there's a this is the fourth book in this series. It's not necessary. And the, the majority of this book is not necessary. Oh, I just like I was getting kind of driven crazy by the plot plot device of the electric fence. Like for how much they set it up and how much they use it, it really doesn't ever play a meaningful it, part in the story. It only ever fails. Yeah. That's the thing. It's only ever fails and it's right. used throughout. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's a mixed metaphor. And we're talking about, you know, kids having a loaded gun. It's like a Chekhov's gun. Right. Of, right. of like Chekhov's electric fence mm-hmm. where they set it up. They talk about it a ton. There's tons of moments of like Conan is fried by it. He says he's going to come back and like beat them all up. He doesn't uh-huh. until the very until the very end. Um, like and then so every time something bad is happening, I don't think it's just because I'm an adult reading this. I'm going like, OK, well, the mice are loose. I guess you could turn on the electric fence. that keep them keep them in there. They don't mm-hmm. think about it. Or they forget. It's or Kermit always forgets, and then Evan always goes, "Why did you forget to turn on the fence again?" And, and Evan, like, Re- Evan in that moment is us, is us being like, "Kermit, you fucking idiot, you screwed up again." Well, like, like there's there's one of the big ideas which I thought was maybe the solution of the book because it would made sense is, oh well, we'll just push all of the slimes into the electric fence, right? And they'll pop, mm-hmm. which is also kind of cruel. I get mm-hmm. it, but you know, you're. Ki- but they're doing it, and then what? Kermit forgets to turn on the fucking fence right. again, and they get out, and that's when they get out and go wild in the You're whole just town. Like, why are we even doing this? Like, what are we? Why didn't you guys talk about this? And, and then he brings back another item, and he brings back the mom's hot sauce, and he's like, "We'll put that out," and then they'll eat the hot sauce, which almost fails because again, a dog walks up and knocks it over, as you said, Tom. <laughs> Dog. And it's, uh, they they like they like find ways to keep walking in a circle in the backyard. That's <laughs> right. like what this book feels like in review. Eighty percent of this book is taking place in the backyard. Is them I, running I, around in circles I, in the backyard? It's crazy. Like, there's like a part where like someone should have noticed by now. At the very end, they right. do, which is also right. amazing. But like like when they go try to tell Evans, you know, or Andy's, sorry, not even Kermit's mom, Evans' mm-hmm. aunt. And they're doing the thing that we've noticed in the last couple of books we've read of just like the parents just are like head down, focused in the sink. They can She has look to up. make a distinct effort not to pay attention to the children. Not to pay here. attention to like by this point there's like twenty goddamn uh sluggins in the backyard. Sluglins, sluglins, yeah. Sluglins in the backyard. <laughs> like eating a dog. At this point, like it is trying to eat dog face. Right. And and she just can't be bothered to like look about the window. She know well. She she's the only one who knows she's in a goosebumps. Book. Oh. She's like, I'm just gonna oh. not be in the picture until this is all over. You know, I don't want a piece of this. <laughs> like us, the readers, she's putting her head down and powering her way through it and hoping to get to the end. <laughs> <laughs> just like let the kids die. Just let, let the them die, please. Fucking slogans. I, I, I do. I, I do just have one detail that I I want to say, and then we can move forward. Sure. Uh, it, it, this is just Evan is mad at uh, Kermit for some reason, and he wants mm-hmm. to shoot him with his super soaker. But I just clip this out of context, and I'll just read this. <laughs> okay, please. Um, he couldn't wait to drench Kermit. He wanted to soak the little freak to make him <laughs> sputter and choke and shiver and shake until he begged for mercy. That's the waterboarding part I was talking about. <laughs> waterboarding or or uh, yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah. doming uh, his cousin. <laughs> anyway, uh, so so uh, so these things are multiplying. They're attacking Dogface. They're, they 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 soak up any water. They'll drink any liquid. They like even, moisture out of you, right? Yeah. Like yeah, they they, you. and that's what they're doing to Dogface. They're sucking onto Dogface to the because he's seventy percent water. You know, 
So he's, they're drinking up the water. Yeah, totally. And that is what they're doing. But so it's established overnight that they put them in the basement in a in a room. Term oh my god! Yes. And they in eat a fucking the sack. dumbest, like the the worst idea. It's like <laughs> let's go to bed while uh, monster blood, which is like not what it is, but it's something they're familiar sure. with. Is like just like gonna do something in the basement. Yeah, it's it sucks. <laughs> cool. They suck their way through the pipe. So it's established that they can get oh, through god. very yeah. hard materials to get to water. So they suck through the pipes. And that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. But when they're sucking on dog face, I was like, these things ate through pipes. There's no way this thing hasn't eaten through this dog's soft hide at this point. Oh, you know no. What I mean? <laughs> these, every one of these people should have massive woots. Like, yes. there's there's a part of the, of the Sluglands that, like, they could be one of the most Our terrifying. name is so much better. It's a cool right. name. It's a really cool Attack, name. Uh, yeah, Rise of the Sluglands or whatever. Or there like, you go. Yeah. It's like they're they could be one of the most terrifying goosebumps monsters, mm-hmm. just because like like Slither has proven uh-huh. uh, the scarabs from Mummy, like a bunch of small little things that are just going to like eat you or like suck the your blood. Yeah, man, That's God really used scary. locust. God used locust to create to do his yeah. god terrorism uh-huh. on the Egyptians. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he came up with it first, and then you know, <laughs> God then... God was the original terrorist, by the way. <laughs> well, maybe monster blood is just god terror. That's what I'm saying. These... Yeah. Damned characters. <laughs> These damned children needed to be punished by God. Yeah. RL. They're God. Even RL. Some God terror. <laughs> <laughs> it's also weird that they don't want, like, they, they're down to kill the Sluglins when they're going to push them into the electric fence. It doesn't work. Right. But then the, the rest of the time, it kind of feels like they're trying to keep them alive, right? There's a couple, like, oh, I got to pick them up with a shovel and I'll put them in the. Right. They're not like. Are you like guys going to. Call just, Steve Cor- Corwin or whatever, and then he's gonna uh-huh. show up and like take away. Like, just fucking start popping them, guys. Yeah, smash like, smack these them fuckers. with a hammer. It's funny that you say that because, oddly enough, as we know, something along those lines does happen. But, yeah. um, but yeah, they 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 try all types of idiotic uh, ways to um, induce multiplication and preserve right. <laughs> these creatures. Right. Right. And eventually they it, they overrun the town and the kids and and they overrun everybody. The police show up. Neighbors are coming out screaming. The the things are multiplying everywhere. They're sucking on people. They're <laughs> sucking and fucking. They're going crazy. There, I just want to point. There, I didn't save it, but there was one description of it because of the the chase of the blobs leads to like a playground. It's like the final set piece. Yeah. And, and like so, people are noticing, but I. I feel like RL wrote it where it was like a couple neighbors just poking up over a fence, like, "Hey, what's going on over there?" Uh-huh. Uh, like, it's just like children are being smothered by blue monsters. A guy, yeah, and a guy. Like, yeah, and neighbors are like, "Get off my lawn!" <laughs> they literally say that. They literally <laughs> scream, "Get off my lawn!" Uh, so the kids eventually give up as the things overwhelm them, and they they surrender to the to the void. They're about to be they're about to be pulled into, uh, yeah. and as that's happening, the things turn on each other. And then I begin guess. to eat each other for some reason. I don't know why. It's not really explained, but they oh. decide to turn on each other and kill each other until one remains and then it dies of its wounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was right. <laughs> <laughs> They're like one God. remained, but it was so fucked up. It just died. They could have at least heel stomped the last one, but instead well, it was just, it died of itself. So the kids had to do nothing. They did yeah. zero. Well, it's important to say that maybe... Because, okay, so Evan decides, hey, let's give these guys your mom's spicy sauce. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, <laughs> yes, sure. Uh-huh. And so they have a pot of spicy sauce, and uh, the, the, they eat it up, and they love it. But mm-hmm. then they start acting really mean after they get the sauce. So, yeah. like, did the sauce give them oh, sluggling the cancer? It? It's I, Maybe. You know, it's kind of implied, I think, that that might be the case. But Interesting. The only reason I thought that maybe that wasn't the case is what happens with the scientist uh, in the next okay. scene after this. That's a, that's a mm-hmm. good point. Before you, before, you, before you get to that, Paul, I just want to point out that there's one detail, I think, between, like... The cop? Are you going to talk about the cop? Well, the cops, too. I mean, even, like, earlier on... The cops when they, are great. When they, the cop they is start, really funny. Yeah, when they start dividing... Like earlier on, it already seems like for whatever reason the Sluglins are evolving into meaner things before the hot sauce. Like oh yeah, they, but made. they just get aggro when they they do get more aggro once they have the hot sauce. They do yeah, get more aggro, th- so they made it worse. I guess. I guess they helped. It's like a video game. It the item make turns them red and into evil versions. <laughs> well, we should we should we sh- we should note that Evan uh, doesn't like the the spicy sauce, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the hot sauce, and mm-hmm. um, uh, Evan. Uh, 
Evan eats dinner uh, with the family and they're having spaghetti and uh, little does he know it's spicy spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, later on, he's like looking in the mirror because like uh, Conan oh, yeah. had like pulled on his ear. So his ears all red. And uh -huh. then he says he has swollen spicy lips from <laughs> yeah. eating hot sauce, which <laughs> I, I guess if you have an allergic reaction to some element yeah. of the sauce, like you, that might happen. And he's looking in the mirror and he says he's sick of Conan making him look like like a freak <laughs> 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 which which by the way buddy you are you are in town for 11 days you do not need to go to war with the fucking neighbor who hates your piece of shit cousin. Yeah, they're paying <laughs> you five dollars an hour. Just stay head, keep your head down. Keep your head down. Get through the week, dude. Look, look the, the family is outside of my window. Okay, I do not interact with the family. Okay, the family is temporary. The pod family. You <laughs> yes. know what I'm saying? You can outlast this, Evan. It's, it's I outlast, outlast them. them. <laughs> I'm going to outlast them, Evan. If you only. We're as smart as I am. Anyway, um, but yeah, so they they eat this. So maybe maybe the hot sauce does induce yes. anger, anger or uh, cancer or something. I don't Infl know. Some sort of a angry inflammation for sure. Uh, the one, the last one, they they, so they turn on each other, they kill each other. The last one dies of its wounds. The cops angry at the the chaos and, <laughs> and being and being drawn to, to have to do work. Decided they're gonna say that they're gonna frame the children for littering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is, I thought was a great moment of just truth about cops. They just need to find a way to put something on. Yeah, they're they're looking for any way. I think they're like, well, I guess maybe we could get you guys for littering. Yeah, they're just there's, trying. There's to, blue corpses everywhere. They want to put these kids away. Which you know what? In the this, I'm going to stop the cops for a second here. Kids deserve it. Put these lock these kids up. Sure. Yeah. At least Kermit. At yeah. least Kermit. <laughs> at least Kermit. Kermit's a danger to everybody. So the kids uh, get out of it. They don't get the litter, the littering uh, fine or whatever they would have gotten. So they return back to the backyard, and there's a scientist in a hazmat suit standing there. <laughs> no, he like yes. pops over behind the shed. Like, oh, hello. The logic of this is absolutely <laughs> insane. It rocks. He fucking tells them that the 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 sluglands are a bioweapon that the military industrial complex has developed. <laughs> well, that's you filling in the gaps, which is definitely where this money came from. I think he called yeah. it an underwater he called it an underwater fighting force. I was yes. like, oh yeah, who yeah, are they fighting? Under, under, he, he was other developing countries. an underwater fighting force that would get more powerful as it was in the water yes. and fighting enemies. But and, and then Kermit responds to the fighting enemies, which we know means humans. And K Kermit says, cool idea about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but he he says he fucking says the problem with them is that they were too mean. Yeah, too good at fighting. <laughs> <laughs> what? This I don't get that. This is the nineties army where everyone's a lot more refined. You know, next year, <laughs> next year, next year they're gonna be like, guys, we're shutting the army down. They were too mean. Uh, they killed too good. We're, the army's done. The United States is going to yeah. save us. You remember, I'm that sorry. 90s, you remember that 90s Marines commercial where like a guy, TV commercial, a guy like crawls through fire in an arena and then fights a yeah. lava monster yes. with a sword? Oh, yeah. The video game ones? Those <laughs> yeah. ones are crazy. Yeah. yeah he, he fought that guy not because he was a lava monster, because he was too mean. He was too mean. He was too mean. He's too, he's too mean. Yeah. We created these monsters, the, <laughs> the, the Taliban. They're too mean. <laughs> And now we need to destroy them. Ronald Reagan funded the creation of the Sluglands. Slugland. Gosh, wow. This is this book is a lot about the U.S. foreign uh, operations in the Middle East. The shadow wars we ran in the 80s. Wow. It just keeps coming up. It just keeps coming uh, back, these guys. Just like uh, just like our, our actions in the Middle East. <laughs> Also, he was like, I threw it. I threw him away. Like, he was Dude, just that's like, the thing. I, these didn't work, so I just put yeah, them in the garbage. I just, I just, <laughs> I figured they would be dead. You know, I think I figure once it gets to the dump, I don't have to think about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he throws them out, and then he showed up to the scene of the crime, and he tells the kids. He tells the kids, "Do not tell anybody about this." <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I just told you that you wouldn't have known if I didn't show up to tell you, do not tell anybody. Well, well, he says he says don't tell anyone because it would be very embarrassing because he spent ten years of his life and fifty million dollars, oh, yeah. which uh -huh. developing these weapons. <laughs> which what we know about military budget seems really cheap for an underwater Pretty fighting cheap. force. Pretty yeah, cheap yeah. for for uh, an infinite weapon that infinite reproduces army. itself. <laughs> 
and uh, is super mean, I guess. But that is you, you know. know America would be dropping slug guns on all of the fucking countries if they if those actually were a thing, right? They would oh totally without a doubt. Be, yeah, dropping yeah, Ob- in the water Obama would have loved slug guns. Obama would have <laughs> used slug guns yeah. like crazy. <laughs> He's like a lot of people don't like the slug ones. <laughs> well, if you don't like your slug one, you can keep your slug one. <laughs> Sa- Sasha Malia, they got slug ones. They're they're great. If you develop a weapon and it's too mean we're, we're coming to kill you <laughs> we've got sluglins for your ass <laughs> oh we dropped the sluglins on your ass we got them. oh Bye-bye. man Bo- it's Bo- speaking, of, speaking of uh well not speaking of just to connect to, Co- to conan who did nothing in this book i <laughs> Conan, I, it just keeps showing up. I literally wrote the quote, and I made this quote up. Hey, want to fuck my dumb shit ass up? Is basically the his entire motivation through this book. Yeah, he only shows up to get fucked up. <laughs> to get fucked up. <laughs> to walk back into the electric fence and just be shocked again. Uh, I, I thought this was like, there was maybe going to be this brilliant of like, Man, Conan's just been this really annoying antagonist in all of these books, as far as I remember. Mm-hmm. Hey, maybe Conan will come into his own and join the gang when he helps join them to smash all the Sluglins. Right. Right. Yeah, because he walks away. He's like, I'm going to come back and beat you guys up. And then the Sluglins get out of control. Right. And then, like, he just doesn't show up again until afterwards. They're like, oh, you kind of right. missed the whole thing, dude. This was your time to shine. Right. And in the nature of, like, a sequel like this, right, doesn't typically, I mean, like, even, like, Stranger Things does this. The yeah. villain of the first couple typically will join because you get a greater villain, right? Yeah, like or Vegeta. It's a Vegeta Vegeta's. situation. It's the Vegeta yeah. syndrome. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, in uh, in 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 Beast Wars. Thank Chad. you. Yes, Dinobot. <laughs> I know <laughs> he that knows, he does that too. He knows where it's going instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, I, I knew you would know. I knew you. Would yeah. Know. And then he comes back as Dinobot 2 again, and Megatron has like brainwashed him. And you're like, uh, but he kind of still remembers somewhere deep in his core. Auto, he's I know still an he's Autobot. still good. I know he's, he's still, still good. He's, he still has his auto saves. Yeah. <laughs> his his Autobot auto saves. It's auto saves down there in the cloud. We need, to, we need to flash his memory and get back to the good save. <laughs> so so, so they, they, the, the, the military man tells them not to tell anybody, scoops up his remaining can of stuff. Gets hit by Dogface again. Uh-huh. Again. Again. <laughs> again. Gets tripped up by Dogface. Drops some. Just talked about how dangerous the stuff was. Decides, eh, fuck it. I'll just leave that stuff there and runs off. And the kids, again, playing with a gun, instead of saying, hey, let's fucking nip this shit in the bud. They're like, you want to play one more prank on Conan? And that's what they do. They leave it in his yard for him to yeah, they say Yeah, they say they'll regrow, right? The, like, mm-hmm. it'll grow up again. They'll all just eat each other. It'll be fine. It'll be a funny prank on Conan. Yep. But, it, like, it, they seem to be in the, of the mind that, like, whatever happens in the yard next Stays door in the yard. Will, will, will not affect <laughs> us <laughs> right. in our yard. Man, is that a metaphor or not, right? Oh, uh-huh. Man. Oh, my God. We're, getting, we're back to the American uh, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. Holy shit. And what do we know? What do we know? We know that uh, Conan comes out and he says, hey, hey, you pieces of shit. And he's they're like talking about us. And he's like, yeah, I ate all that candy you left. Mm-hmm. Because like earlier in the book, he's like, what is this candy? Um, when he's got the monster blood. Kermit's pretending to lick it and being like, mmm, good. And like doing like weird. <laughs> like nobody told Kermit to do no. that. No. <laughs> nobody tells Kermit anything. No, no that's true. <laughs> And yeah, so he eats it. Yeah, and you go ahead, Dom. Wrap it he, up. At the end, at the end of the book, he's like, "I ate it. It tasted pretty good." And also, like a second, Conan walks out of the house, and he's mm-hmm. like, "What's up, guys?" And and Conan is multiplied, and yep. that is uh, that is that is the ending of the book. Is that, implying uh, he drank a bunch of water and's been popping? I guess. Yeah, and split yeah, it. yeah. He no, he talked. Yeah, he says that I've been drinking water, and the original Goosebumps series. Comes to a close on that wonderful ending of Conan <laughs> multiplying and about to beat the shit out of these children. Yeah, that's the last page. That's, that's the last. I page, mean, like re-release I it digitally with a bonus chapter. I RL. Would, yes, <laughs> yes. Release just the, one. Release the RL cut. Release the of RL Monster cut. Blood yeah, War. where the children are beaten to death. <laughs> Give me the Stein cut <laughs> by other by a multiplied child. <laughs> We didn't have time to put the normal green monster blood in, in this one, but in, in the new cut, it's in there. There's, there, you'll there's see an hour it. more of, of pages. You'll see it. There's you'll a whole see cut storyline. It involves the mice. The mice were going to have the green stuff. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Oh, gosh. That's Monster Blood. That's the rap on Monster Blood, guys. It is... Um, is that the last Goosebumps book? Is that, that what you said? The last for the of core Goosebumps of the core series. Because they do Goosebumps two thousand and yes. Slappy's World and all that type of stuff. Because those are advertised at the end of my Kindle edition that I. Wait, is Slappy's World a real thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It says Whoa. here about the author. He's making all types of books, and it's, it's like, like a here's new all... thing, right? Yeah, there's the Goosebumps Slappy World. Here's just a few of the titles. Slappy Birthday to You, Attack of the Jack, I Am Slappy's Evil Twin, Do Not <laughs> Feed the Weirdo. Wait, yeah. I Am Slappy's Evil Twin? Isn't Slappy evil? Uh, Escape from <laughs> Shutter Mansion, The okay. Ghost of... And, the, and then The Ghost of Slappy. Cool. Okay. Yeah. RL just started, like, franchising out, right? There's, like, we know there's, like, the Horrorland ones where it's, like, okay, right. there's just other Goosebump books. Right, right. But this is, if, in terms of... The, the the core Goosebumps line. This is the last one. We jumped ahead to this last one. Mm-hmm. Be- and this is what RL made, left his legacy on. This is his, right. like, uh, yeah, final Right. One. Of the core Goosebumps. He should make Goosebumps. Goosebumps Blood World. <laughs> Where is that? I like that title. Did that come from anywhere particular or just, like, your brain? Well, he, you know, he's got Goosebumps Slappy World. You know, let's take Monster Blood. Let's drop the monster. Oh, Goosebumps Blood I like World. That. I like that Blood World. <laughs> <laughs> rain of rain of the sluglins. I love that. This is fucking the Goosebumps most wanted title, The Lizard of Oz. RL <laughs> children Boo. do not know what the Wizard of Oz is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's here's another Goosebumps most wanted title. Here comes the Shaggity. <laughs> the Sorry? Shaggity? Is that about like ICP? The Shaggity? <laughs> Shaggy d- too dope. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Weird wild stuff. Motherfucker. Motherfucker's got Goosebumps Most Wanted. Night of the Puppet People. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't you already have a character? <laughs> <laughs> These are like sock puppet people. They're way scarier, Dom. They're like. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They're like, they're like, they're handmade. Yeah. It's, it's real creepy. <laughs> um, Dr. Maniac will see you now. I can't stop reading these horrible titles. Okay, anyway. Goosebumps. Oh, well that uh, Dom, was that was that was that book did our did our episode make you hate that <laughs> book any less? I have to I have to make an announcement. Uh, yeah. sadly that book was not good enough. And uh, <laughs> I'll 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 have to I'll have to be done here. I'll have to be wrapping up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah this is uh this is sadly my last episode actually this is uh this is gonna be a goodbye uh for now i don't know maybe i'll come back and finish that uh that nfl book that we were reading. oh yeah back to pass how fucked up was that that it is uh dark story what's so t- I mean, you know we won't go into it but I, I do have to remind us that uh like that book is also like nfl propaganda <laughs> did you, also you know this is a, a, a this is a double sidebar did you see the promotion for the nfl wildcard game that's going to be broadcast on nickelodeon no what, what are you, wow what? okay i will find this for you guys and i'll send this to you uh, so earlier this year it was like oh yeah and the nfl has like um made it so that one wildcard game will 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 have a special broadcast on Nickelodeon, and it'll be like a special broadcast for what? children. It'll also be broadcast on CBS or one of those other channels. They're going to child it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> a huge problem for the NFL is that most parents don't want children playing football yeah. because a lot of children every year die from playing yeah, football. Yeah, it's dangerous yeah. as hell, yeah. Um, and we all know why it's dangerous and, and so on, so we won't get into that. But <laughs> instead of uh, them taking measures to make any of it safer... They were just like, mm, well, we're just going to advertise on the. We're just going to advertise to children. Children don't want to play football. Well, now you're going to see SpongeBob and uh, Slime and Nickelodeon all over the football, oh and you're going to want to play. God. Wait, are, are they actually covering the ball in slime? Uh, well, they're doing kind of like um, I, I'll send you the commercial, but okay. they imply that they're going to do like face filter stuff to make it. Gotcha. Fun. Okay, oh, so they're God. oh they're they're TikToking <laughs> oh they're TikToking or not TikToking uh they're Instagramming. <laughs> filtering it gotcha. it'll be like when you, yeah. when you do a touchdown they're like hey can you please floss can you please wow floss? wow oh yeah wow, 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 oh yeah wow, 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 well it's gonna crazy. be well you know it will be for kids um 
the players will know it's also for kids. And that's another thing that kids they, that they do now is now that they after they score a touchdown, they do like a little performance in front of a camera, something that was like uh, they used to not let them do it all. Yeah, but yeah. now now they now they let them do it a little yeah. bit. But anyway, <laughs> that's the NFL on uh, Nickelodeon. But uh, but yeah, um, you know, I've got so much going on these days. Um, I just, uh, you know, I I I got to say, I it's hard to find time for mm-hmm. the bumps. Mm-hmm. It's also so spooky. It's also so scary, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm like <laughs> I can't what... keep doing this to myself, Dom, because you no, nobody knows this, but after we do an episode, you take a week where you shut yourself in your room and just recover. <laughs> well, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I take an hour to take a full-on hour piss because <laughs> it is so scary. <laughs> And you scream the entire time you're busy, too. <laughs> well, when I'm not drinking more water, because... Yeah, that's a uh-huh. refill. <laughs> the refill, yeah. <laughs> but then I take a week-long break where I'm just uh, sh- scarred. I'm, I'm recovering. <laughs> <laughs> it's that it's that shot from China, Illinois, where the dean just shuts down and goes into yes. shutdown mode. And, just stares <laughs> yes. at, and you just stand in your garage with your eyes all white, <laughs> just waiting, <laughs> waiting to recover. <laughs> Uh, the white eyes are so good on the Brad Neely. Uh, oh yeah, and, and oh, in yeah. fact, I was kind of sad when the Professor Brothers had pupils. But oh, anyway. I know they shouldn't. They should uh, never. Yeah. But anyway, the um, uh, the 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 go- the goosebumps. You know, we've been doing this for five years, at least, right? Yeah, at least. We, yeah. I think 2015 is when we started. I just want to go ahead and just do a little reflection. Yeah, sure. Of how of how much has changed in five years? <laughs> mm-hmm. If you remember, I think we did like the second episode, Paul, mm-hmm. in my parents' living room. Yes, yeah, <laughs> skyping in with mm-hmm. with Chad because I had moved. Then I moved back, and then uh, in 2016, uh, we had the election, and that was crazy. And then yeah. we had four years, four wild uh, years, four wild years, and now it's over. No, <laughs> no, Biden, now Biden's in there. It's, Biden's everything's, in, okay. everything's good. Everything's fine. Dom's like, my bit, my work is done. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we saved the world, and uh, now I got <laughs> other worlds to save. Other, other world. Bidens to put into power on other planets. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the way to fix the dimension. <laughs> you you land, you go, where is where's Joseph Biden? You just land and ask him. <laughs> Get me Biden. Get oh, me I was Biden. gonna say that Dom has like a briefcase of little Biden homunculi that he that he <laughs> that he incubates. <laughs> He walks through a portal and then he like starts incubating a new Biden. <laughs> I, I I I I throw them down like a bolt of lightning from Zeus uh, <laughs> yeah. onto other planets, <laughs> where at first they are small wooden dolls embedded in the earth, but then they grow into trees and, and then people. And then people, Dom has to spend four years nurturing the the doll, then the tree, and then the person. Until he is uh, <laughs> sentient enough to become president, it's a lot. It's a lot of energy and time, and that's and that's why I have to. And that's why I don't have time for this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but did you notice that Biden looks so much like that one Jeff Dunham puppet of that old man? <laughs> I guess he does look a little. Go look like at him. it. Go yeah. Google that real quick. Just oh, his puppet's name. His puppet's name is Richard. Jeff Dunham. I like that you know his bumps. It. No, I'm just gonna. Name. I'm just gonna guess. He's, oh, bit, he's guessing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see it. Oh my god, he does look like him. Holy sh! There's a picture of of him side by side with Biden. With Biden. Oh, so yeah, that makes sense. That I would would not be the first person. <laughs> Walter and Joe Biden, one and the same. It says. Walter. What is his name? Walter. 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 Like Waldo. Sure. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, um, got but I hey got new and exciting um things happening projects i'm working on i can't wait to get them done in the new year um yeah i don't know would love to be back on the show would love to be back on some buds and, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to do so some th- more i think what we should like you know obviously we 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 wish you the best dom um, yeah man we're sad to, we're sad to have you you know leaving the show um but obviously the door is always open if you want to come back and do an episode you can come back on uh, we wanted to do the last book of the of the main series with Dom, um, so that there was the capstone of we had done the first and the last. Some yeah. reflection, some like whole reflection. Then I, mean, I think we got that. But you know what? This this show started because the three of us are friends, right? And uh, the friendship doesn't end. No, uh, no, of course. And and so you know, um, 
I would love to come back. Love to love to review something at some point. Would love to do the NFL book, but we do have to uh, we do have to make another run at that. We have to become well, of smart. course. So, I mean, but you guys you know. have been doing a great job doing well, thanks, what man. we haven't done in a while, which is have guests on. And mm-hmm. I, that's another part of it too. Is like coordinating with three people who all have either their self employed jobs or at the mercy of a production schedule. Mm-hmm. And so scheduling with three people was always such a difficult thing. But I guess it's well. I guess you're still scheduling with three people, but the third person is a guest, right? So it's worked yeah, out. Anyway. We've been able to do it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going. I'm pa- unpacking this out loud, but it's uh, it's uh, you guys have been doing a great job uh, having guests on. Well, yeah. no, I, I I remember like I remember when it first you know we first started talking about doing this podcast, and I think I was like asking Dom, you, and Paul to join me on this like weird experiment. Mm-hmm. It was, I think I think even then it was kind of a like, hey, if we only get like. You know, five episodes in, that's fine, whatever, because I just kind of want to hang out with you guys and talk and shoot the shit and make some jokes. And then, you know, RL gave us this massive gauntlet of just mostly garbage to chew through, right? (laughs) Mm -hmm. And and it was always like, well, I look forward more to just getting to talk to my friends more than devouring RL's latest juicy story. Uh (laughs) It it, it quickly became... um... Uh, what's the word that I want to say? When you subject yourself to punishment. Mm-hmm. Mm, masochistic a little bit? Yeah, yeah. It was masochistic in a way, it, masochistic in a way uh, where it was also like the pot, the pod is like therapy where it was like, what did we just go through? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like who's been lying to us for three hours? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, we yeah. It, it almost, we became uh, like survivors of a cult, right? We've all bonded through that. And what the people <laughs> yes. we've all had on the show. We got yes. bumpy. You could say we got bumpy. Yeah, things yeah. got a little bumpy there. I, I know that like my <laughs> taste, my tastes have changed in like, what I think fiction should be partly because of this show. Like, you know what I mean? Like partly because of reading RL was talking. Yeah. We've, I think we've worked through a lot of story issues. Like as people who write things, all of us, all three of us write things. Uh, we've, we've, it's sort of been like a school for us to study what works and what yeah. doesn't work in a lot of ways. But I do, you know, like the show evolved too, where, you know, when we started out, and like we've seen comments about this, you know, it was always about the books, and we were pretty much on topic with the books. But then, you know, we've always been friends. But like any show, we just kind of, you know, it was a place for us to come to hang out, and our lives got busier, and we would get together to do this show. And a lot of times, we'd spend 15, 20 minutes, a half an hour just bullshitting before even getting into the book because we were having a good time talking with our friend with with our two friends you know yeah we like the banter people who leave podcast reviews about it we like to talk to and each we other. leave the time code in there now for when we talk about the book so <laughs> you have one anyway but um yeah i don't know like any podcast yeah it's you know the podcast has a, a hook some kind of some kind of deal about it that they're always going to do but like any podcast you listen for the chemistry of the friends and so I think we've done a gr- I think we've done a great job of that. Yeah, and uh you know, like we said we'll probably I'm sure we'll be working on stuff in the future together. Um you know, who knows where where things are going to head. Uh we might have to, you know, you might have to incubate a new president at some point. So <laughs> uh, you know, we we might have to uh we might have to do some of that. So yeah, like you know, there's there's tons of opportunities down the line, but uh you know, I got to say the the five or however many years we've been doing this have been a lot of fun and uh, and i'm really i'm really glad you did them with us down so much fun and to your point about um reading these and getting better at fiction or the both of you i think were making that point uh that is entirely true you know one of the things that i think all of us love about watching uh quote unquote bad movies b movies is that um yes they're they're silly they're wild you will see things uh in it that you will never see in another movie but also Mm -hmm. like you will learn like you will just laugh out loud when the movie is not doing a good job of telling you a story Mm -hmm. (laughs) because it will be absurd you know Mm -hmm. so there's you know even though these books have been (laughs) uh at times uh quite bad um they've always been fun to unpack with you guys you know agree similar it's a similar to like, you know, I know Paul, you didn't get to do this as much with us, but like, you know, Dom and I really have pre pandemic gotten to bond over the years going to New Beverly. We've talked about it on the podcast. Yeah. Uh-huh. But like, mm-hmm. I think the a similar energy of 
we'd go to the double feature or the triple. Usually I was too sleepy and had to leave halfway through. Mm-hmm. Um, you were, and you were a tougher man than me, Dom. But like we'd leave those, right? Seeing mostly bad movies, but having a great time. And then like I would be creatively inspired for the rest of the week, especially uh-huh. like oh, talking yeah. it out with you. Same way with like talking these books of like I – having read this stupid book about sluglands and that's what they're called now right yeah. that's yes. what it is, <laughs> is is like gives me i don't want to go write a slugland story but like it's giving me creative energy to go and like make my own tale right and do mm-hmm. something cool more than this morning beforehand before we started talking and that's, sure, I think yeah. that's cool and um yeah by the way also like dom like even with you you know stepping into the mists and you'll be back at some point like <laughs> that's a great way like, yeah. to talk about exiting is to say i'm stepping into <laughs> mist. stepping into mist to, go, to, <laughs> to head to new realms like your presence is still going to be felt right like oh my been... mist is going to be all over the show <laughs> the, this, the, re- the recording room is filled with dom's mist dom's yeah mist i'm sorry i have leave. sent you masks um, Thank you. To protect you from the mist, <laughs> it is mildly, it is mildly poisonous. The masks <laughs> say the family on them too. <laughs> uh, uh, I do want to say, um, in final conclusion and review of the, all of this, um, yeah, R. L. Stein one hundred percent wrote every one of these books, and wow. uh, that's what I've come to the conclusion of. Uh, and uh, you know, anything I said in the past about ghostwriters, um. Was only ever for fun of the parody of the show, uh, RL. Uh, I know you're listening. Um, <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> this is, all right. I just want to pull this out. There's now a, cons- a conspiracy theory that RL has secretly gotten to Dom and is making Dom Dom say this. Let the conspiracy oh, yeah, well, I, grow. I should, I should note that, uh, the, the, what I'm going to go do now with my extra time, uh, is. Uh, work on a Slugland uh, movie blood, with Blood uh, World. You're working on Blood World with them. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I'm, well, yeah, I'm working on Blood World. Yeah. All, all the time I'm working on Blood World. <laughs> uh, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, Robert and I have gone together. <laughs> <laughs> Old jovial Robert and I. Uh, <laughs> jovial Rabbi. Robert Louis Stevenson Stein. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dom, boy. Dom, we're gonna miss you on the show. Obviously, we'll. We, I mean, we'll see you again. So it's yeah. It, fucking you know. have me back on. Fucking <laughs> ask me to be a guest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love when somebody says it? Says fucking ask me to be. <laughs> a guest. It's a nice like kind of like. Uh, here's my friendship taken, you asshole. Yeah. Yes, because yes. uh, it's good, and you know it's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, but um, but yeah. yeah. Um. I'm sure I'll be back. And uh, I don't know. In the meantime, if you need to find me online, um, I'm at CG Puppy. Um, mm-hmm. That's CG as in computer graphics. My dad went and saw that uh, Harrison Ford movie where <laughs> yeah. uh, Into the Into the Snow, the John London, yeah. into the <laughs> Jack London story. Yeah. Into the, into the, uh, into whatever the it is. snow. Into the snow. They should all be called that. Um, but uh, at the he like the way he talked about that movie, he was like so amazed by the mm-hmm. CG dogs that uh, Harrison Ford was acting with, and yep. that's all he talked about. And then he's like, and then at the end of the movie, you know, the whole movie, I'm going, where's the huskies? And at the end of the movie, there's a little husky, little a little CG puppy. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I was like CG puppy. There it is. So it it is. just made me laugh. And that's where Dom can be found on the internet now. That's where you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. There's a cgpuppy.com that's coming soon. And mm-hmm. also uh, Paperback Paradise continuing to do uh, new stuff with that, too. That is growing. And also, you know, I'll be putting out some new stuff. Yeah. So we'll keep spreading the, we'll keep spreading the good word. Yeah. Also, too. Like, you know, and obviously, of course, if it's not clear, we're going to keep doing the podcast. Yes. Paul and Chad I will- and I, oh, Chad yes. and I are, are carrying on. We are going to see this thing through to the end. <laughs> until until we die <laughs> <laughs> from reading goosebumps. <laughs> uh, wait, who are some guests that you got coming on? Oh, we don't. I don't know if we have any of that. I don't know if we have any official. Oh, yeah, it's up kind yet. of the end of the I year. We're doing, we we are recording this episode two days before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> don't feel pressure. We definitely do not have all of our new lineups. Set up, we have so. about a a running list of like ten or fifteen people, and we keep we just keep asking them until they're able to do it, basically. Slow erosion, slow erosion it works. of their soul. That's it the works. way. The that's the way you want it. That's the, the way you want works. to tease it. Who's the guest? We don't know yet. Okay, but there's gonna be a guest. <laughs> you can sense the excitement of not of us not knowing. You can feel that in every episode. Yeah, it's an excitement slash fear. Uh, 
uh again guys thank you so much for being my friends and reading the same with me oh yeah love you guys love both of you guys and love everyone who's listening all right boys i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the the water on this campfire oh we had a fire going this whole time Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Why, oh paul your feet <laughs> i'm so hot <laughs> Paul used to have legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what R.L. Stein stands for, regular leg Stein. <laughs> it's a, it was a, he was making that insult up before he even knew me. He was making before he even knew it happened yeah. to record it. Mm-hmm. All right, I think that's a podcast. We can cut <laughs> bye bye. All right, bye bye. This episode of Goosebuds is brought to you by our wonderful Patreon supporters. We are compelled to read the Book of Names. Compelled by your generosity. We'd like to thank Hollis Hornbeak, Stefan, Jive Turkey, Kuovara, Michael McDowell, Cameron Murphy Audio, Josh Robertson, David Cron, Nathan Dolezal, Mickey C, Mike Lanteri, Clayton C, Elkade, Buddy Morrill, Jim Greaves, Mel Dipson, Thank Keith. Joshua Lopez, Danky McStanky, Afshin, Dango Twist, Aaron T. Strunk, Brian Wells, Victor, Zentacles, Stealth Bates, Becca McWilliams, Joseph Miranda, Patrick Reynolds, Scott Colopy, Robert Moon, Jennifer Britton, Jason Crooker, John Keaty, Clay Castle, Miguel Pardo, Christina Doling, Calf, Matt the Half Court Warlock Bachelor, Matthew X Gone Mark the Spot to You, Sniggy, Reinfected, Maddie, Eshak Arafin, Jonas Blotterman, Gregory D. Warren, Alan Saylor, Sam Hatch, Cody Redfield, Rich Hillborn, Bradford Coulter, Aiden Alexander Dice, Dylan Vaughn, Low Belly Hate Me, Jar Jar Slinks, Joshua Jacobwitz, Justin Wagman, Chosen One, Cardboard Walk, The John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, Levy Thin, Up and Champ, Rug, Jonas Engman, Paul Grasso, Trans Rights, Alicia Grafe, Trent Davis, Taylor Dierks, Joe, Remember to Save Early and Often Scott, Molloyster, Brock Graham, Carl, Anthony Kuabara, Joe Gorman, Elusive Koala, Blake Alvarez, Yanni Markovina, Trendy Moron, Space Tiger, Joe, Brooke X, Corey Shelley, Beezus Christ, Christian Van Skeever, Connor Church, Vincent Motica, Luke Noodles, Heath Robinson, Jeremy Lowe, Hugh Bolin, Zam Bambino, Brian Hobgood, Slum Lord Onion, Jordan Lockwood, Valhalla Black, Foolish for Deborah, Zach Connor, Patreon underscore donator, comma yo, Joe Spooky Digital Ghost, Tierney, Tom Whittem, John the Howling Eye Duda, Nicholas Johnson, Nathan Remick, Kevin Hamilton, Divaldi, Andrew Fingers Crossed for a Vaccine by Slinkmas Jadsack. Hey, maybe you got one. I heard they were just throwing them out windows sometimes. Lord Cornwallis, Eric England, Elizabeth Steenway. Cardamom Burkambino. Andrew Evans. Reed Steubendick. Mike Roch, haha, gotcha. It's actually Spencer. Daddy's Happy Apple Boy. Joey Evans. Carewise Gamgee. People named Chad aren't actually like what you assume, so <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I, I'm into it. I'm here for it. Goon Cahoots. Swaggy Yolo Squire. Cameron Hansen. Carly Sarnowski. Dylan McCann. Buffcat. SNES Chalmers. Sean Minogue. Glenn. Wiggle It. Etona Moore. John Pigeon Hat Barber. Yeah, yeah. RL Slink. Chip Handsome. Matthew McClellan. Stink Lich. JR Chip. The Voyant Claire. Dan. I like that one. That's classy. Baz Gerritsen. Chris Pittman is a bone wizard. Alex Moon, the robot dog. Ben Bohan. Sarah Kemp. Egg Baby. Chili Dish Gambino. Tanya Turtle. Calamity Carl. Jonas Evan Voldson. Bad Vibes Jr. Germ Juice. Nick Johnson. Brett. Adam, you goofed. Stephen Day. Kate and Franklin. Juan Jalapena. Ryan Carroll. Muscles Bear. Jeremy Bowser. Sadie Kitson. Dakota Campion. Keith Halcrow. Timothy Misodoulakis. Chris Keeper of the Mastosphere Nelson. Keep that Mastosphere safe, Chris. Keep it secret. Clay McCarty. Nata S. Say it backwards. Matthew Stevens. Megan McCormick Mason. Ninja Breadman. Parker Lee. Carter Glass. 
Hoodlemon. The underscore venomous underscore viper. Wade Norcross. Hambo. Got little old moi pretty freaked. Raymond Hernandez. Flemily. The Crow Fens. Matthew Sutton. Russell Gore, Patrick Murphy, Wonderskin, Jimmy Soul, Peanutburg, Jeffrey Ohi Kahi, Elliot Thompson III, Kelsey Kinneman, reminds me of cinnamon, I love it, Nicholas Butler, Xavier Jimenez, Jordan Slamsey, Brendan Arafin, Comfy System, Chris Putricus, Chris, I hope I'm saying your last name right, let us know, Russell Kastberg, Sunset Streak, Dr. Chocula, Cod Salmon, Liam Neeson's Doe, Michael Mello, Kelly the Barbarian, Dungeon Kappa, Meet Virginia, M E A T, Zach Weir, Milky Nug, Christopher Doey, Adam Muth, Tobias Clark, MC Hamster, Julian Lamendia, or Julian Lamendia, Tom Sheed Munir, George Michael Wham. <laughs> I didn't, expect, didn't see the way I'm coming. Just like the band. Didn't see him coming. The Shreknomicon. Michael Kupka. Robert Allen Cook the Third. Mike Spaghetti. Jones. Ashley Northup. Dylan Napier. Nicole Watkins. Matthew Higgins. Redemption. Zoranth. Angelo Santone. And we'd like to welcome these new names to the Book of Names. Chris. Welcome new Patreon, Liana Yurenko. Skelefella. I know you. Welcome new patron, 69 Polly Shore 311. It's a dangerous combination of names and numbers, I'll be honest. Ross Short. Welcome new patron, Daniel Cullen. Kenny M. Welcome to the Book of Names. You are immortalized. Until... Someone stops listening to this podcast. I guess it's kind of like it only goes until people keep listening. You're, I mean, you're there. You'll be there. You'll stay there forever, but maybe no one will know. Thank you all so very, very much. We cannot do this show without you. We love you. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you again for another month of your support. We'll be back soon. And guess what? We'll be reading the names together soon. So if you want to update your name to make us say something funny, don't say anything offensive. We will skip over it and we will yell at you if you do that. Just keep it clean. But we will be reading your new names. If you want to make us goof on each other, that's okay. As long as it's not mean. Because we will not be mean to each other. We will we will apologize instantly. So you will not be able to make us be mean to each other. But we will be throwing this together. So get those names updated if you'd like to do that. And the new people in the book of names, you get the right silly names if you want to. That's just a little, little tip for you, new people. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.